Hey guys, this is Tim Vidal and welcome to my Z Suite review. Uh, today I'm going to show you what Z Suite is, uh, what you will get. I'm also going to show you the upsells, what you can expect when you buy Z Suite, uh, the upgrades that you can buy. I'm not going to talk about my bonuses that much in this review uh, because I want to give my attention to the review. But if you want to check out my bonuses, uh, you can go to the link in the description below this video and that will lead you to this page that you're seeing right now in my background. And I'm going to mention one bonus that I'm going to give away. Um, and you can find more bonuses here, but I want to point out one bonus that I'm going to give away is a special thank you if you decide to, uh, to purchase Z Suite through my links. Uh, and that's my personal developed exclusive video software, which is called Square My Video. Uh, where you can square your videos in literally a few clicks. You, you select your video, you put your text on top of your video and you can export it. Uh, and by that, you can get a lot more engagement and eyeballs to your videos on social media. So I thought this is a perfect add on to the Z suite that you're getting. Um, and I wanted to give this away as a special bonus. It's a never released product. So make sure you check out the link in the description below this video. Uh, but let's dive into the review. So what exactly is Z Suite? Well, it's a complete package that you're going to get of four design apps uh, that you're going to get for a one-time price uh, of $67 right now. And what are the four apps that you're going to get? Well, the first app that you're going to get is Uzine. Uh, and this is a design app. And you can compare this a bit with Canva if you're if you're familiar with Canva. Uh, only Uzine has a lot more options than Canva has, and you get a lot of more extras with Uzine. So this is one app that you're going to get. The second app that you're going to get is GiveSign, and GiveSign allows you to create uh, yeah gifs, gif files, and gif files are the images that you're seeing, the moving images. So what you can do is you can create GIFs from YouTube videos, Vimeo videos, or it even allows you to record your screen. So that's a pretty cool app also. Then the third app that you're going to get is MockZign. And MockZign is an app that allows you to um, create mockups and what is a mock-up? A mock-up is something like this. Let me see if we can see that See that when we zoom in. Uh, but this is a t-shirt, for example. And you see on that t-shirt is a logo. And that's what you do with MockSign. You upload your logo and MockSign automatically creates 100, uh, 100 plus designs for you with your logo on top of it. So that's pretty cool if you're designing something for a client. Uh, you can upload your logo to MockSign and then you can show your client how it looks like on a t-shirt, how it looks like on a, a coffee cup, for example. So that is MockSign. And then the last application is LogoSign, uh, where you have a technology that makes uh, yeah, creating logos a breeze. That's what they say. Um, and you uh, no need to drag anything, just point and click. So it's a very easy logo design software. What I'm going to do in this review is I'm going to point out the upsells also. But before I do, I want to uh, show you one application, which is called Uzine. That's the first application. Um, and I already have this app. So what the sellers of, of or the vendors of this product of Z Suite do is they have those four apps are successfully sold before. Um, and I had one of them, which is called Uzime, and I'm using this app for years and I've had good support with this. And that's also why I can recommend this suite uh, because I know the vendors are good. They always responded to my tickets. If I had something that I want to ask them, they always responded good to my questions. And I'm going to show you how Uzime works so you can see the power of Uzime itself. And as you can see here, uh, normally when you log in, you get this this uh, screen in here. So you have Uzine, GiveSign, MockSign, and LogoSign where you can log in. And right now I'm logged in to Uzime, which is the design application. As you can see, I have my designs in here uh, that I'm using. And it's a very easy to use um, image editor. So what you can do is you can create a design from scratch right now. And what that does is it gives you all different kinds of options. So you can do a custom size like you're seeing right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yes. Um, a custom size so you can 
take whatever size you want, or you can do the predefined images from Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Plus, and LinkedIn. Let me get this out of the screen, by the way. Uh, and you can choose one of these uh, sizes. This is one option. Another option, what you can do is simply go to the template. So with Uzign and all the other applications, there also be templates that you can use. And as you can see here at the left side, you have the same option. So you can choose from Facebook, for example, when I click on Facebook, you can see here, you see all the different options. So you can choose a Facebook at large, an app medium, a small a photo cover. And that's for all the social media channels. There are already uh, designs that are created for you. So when you go to all template types, you can simply uh, scroll through the templates and you can choose one of the templates that you like and you can start editing them. So let's take this one, for example. Um, I want to use this one so I can use this template. And right now it's loading my uh, visual editor. So this is the editor. Um, and this is the design that I use now. It's, it's a long design, as you can see here. I can give my design a name. So uh, I call this review design. And right now you can edit this image. Everything is already in the template. So you can change everything, every part on the template in here. So let's wait till it is finished. So how this works is like this. Everything is already in here. As you can see here, these are logos that I already have dragged in and fonts that has uh, been placed in here. So you can just change this to your own needs. You can, for example, just delete this part. Um, let me see here. You just click an image and you click on the delete button in here and you can upload your own uh, logos also. So here you can find your own uploads. So if this is, for example, my logo, I can put this in here. Uh, and just put this on the top of my design. So it's very simple, it's very easy. And also when you want to change your design, for example, if you say, okay, this is a long, nice design, this is a rec card, like you're seeing right here. But if you need to uh, develop an Instagram image, you can simply change the, the layout by going to the menu in here and say, okay, I wanna have an Instagram picture which is 1080 by 1080. And as you can see here, it changes automatically. And then you can drag and drop your images or your design to the needs of this specific design. Now, the cool thing about um, Uzine is that it gives you more options here in this menu. Like you're seeing right here, you can also give borders. And this is something that is, for example, not possible with uh, Canva. As you can see here, I can change the border. I can choose the size of my border, the color. Uh, I can say I, I don't want to have a fill on the inside. So now it's a transparent font. Uh, I want to show my 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 shadow. This is also something that is not possible with Canva. And that, those options are really the options that I sometimes miss when I design in Canva. I, I still use Canva, but I also use Uzine to create my designs. And here you can change the opacity of the shadow, uh, the angle of the shadow, and the distance where you want the shadow to appear. So this is pretty cool. What you can do, you can change the opacity of your fonts. Um, you can simply duplicate um, your your fonts or the text that you have put in your into your image. It's it's a very easy editor to work with. Now, at the left side here, you got the options. So if let let's just delete some parts in here, so you can see how it works. So for example, if this was not in here, you can all upload your own images. You can upload your own background. So for example, here you see the text options and here you can choose from different text options so you simply click on it and it will add the text in here and then you simply go to your fonts and you can change the fonts to whatever font you like and as you can see there are many fonts in here that you can use and you simply select the font uh, and you select the the font how big you want to have the font you can also drag the font if you want to have it bigger uh, you can change the font size the font colors but you can also go to the graphics part in here and here you got all different kinds of uh, yeah, images that you can use. So for example, these are all vector images like arrows. So if you want to put in your arrows, you simply put in a arrow here, you drag and drop it. So a lot of things in here. So vectors, you have integrations with Icon Finder, Pixabay, Stock Unlimited. So simply click on Pixabay and it will load 
the Pixabay database. So that means that you have hundreds of thousands, well, maybe millions of images uh, that you can instantly use. So if I click on this image, I now have this image into my editor. So um, there's a lot of possibilities within Usign uh, when you yeah, when you create your designs in Usign. Now there's one extra option that I want to point out in Usign also, which I personally really like. Um, and that is that you can also modify images. So let me go to my uploads. So there are also, by the way, filters that you can put on your photo. So when you have a photo, you can put all different kinds of filters, as you can see here. So when you have a, a, a photo, you, you see the difference more easily than now. Now it puts more colors on top of it. But when you have a photo of some, some, some persons on your screen, you will see uh, some cool effects. But let me go to the uploads because what I want to show you is this. Let me scroll down a bit. Let me see where I am. Let me see where my photo is. This, this photo, for example, what I really like is that this Usign also has a background remover. So when I click this remove image, then what you can do is here, you got a very simple tool. You have a plus button and with the plus button, you select very roughly what you want to keep in this image. So right now you're telling Usign, I want to keep those colors that are in the image. So right now I'm, I'm doing this and you can see, I say, I want to keep this. And then when you have the red one, the minus, you're going to select what you don't want to have. And as you see right now at the right side, you will see the example, how it will be. And as you can see right now, I filtered my background at the left side, you see my background and right now at the right side, it's filtered. So I can save this and I can simply press done. And when I do this, you see my background is completely removed within Usign. And that makes this tool really outstanding. Um, compare that to Canva, where such things as this is not possible. This is simply not possible. Uh, you don't have the extra effects like, like borders, etc., that you can put on your images. Um, there's some, some benefits of Usign above Canva. And this is just one application. And again, if you want to change the, the, the size of your image, you simply go to here and you want to create something on Facebook. You want to have a group cover, simply click on it. And you can see this is the side of the group cover that you can use and then simply modify this current image, uh, drag and drop it to wherever you want to have it, and then just design it again for this specific um, purpose. So, their text, their backgrounds in here, the backgrounds is simply colors that you can do or transparent background. You can have the text layers, you can have the graphics that are built in. So you have templates also in here. Uh, you have groups. Honestly, I've never worked with groups, not sure what that means. You have the filters and you have your uploads uh, or you can manually change it in here. So that's what Usign is all about. Uh, I don't have access to GiveSign, MockSign, and LogoSign, um, so I cannot show you these apps. But yeah, like I said before, I work already with Usign for, for a few years. The support is good, always getting replies to my messages. Um, and this is definitely an app that I can recommend. Only this app, if you would have bought Usign for $67, it would have been worth uh, your investment. Uh, and the $67 is a one-time investment that you do and you get lifetime access. So if you're interested in getting a Z suite, because it's a complete suite, if you're interested to get this full suite, go to my website in the link below this video and you will get my bonuses also. Now I'm, I'm going to talk about the upsells because there are also some upsells. Like I said, the front end is $67 where you get all the features, including Usign and the other platforms that I just talked about. And let me see if I can see how many templates you will get 200 templates in here. Um, that's the front end product. Now the first OTO is the templates upgrade with club and if I understand correctly, you can choose from a one-time investment for a certain amount of templates, or you can 
uh, also get a monthly where you get monthly templates every month. So here you get 2200 templates, including 1000 Usign templates as an upgrade, 200 Gift Sign mock up templates, and 1000 Mock Sign mock up templates as an upgrade. Um, Z Suites upgrade plus Z Suite Club is 57 plus 1999 a month. And here, 5,200 templates, including 4,000 Usign. Uh, so probably this is for the second part. I didn't align that correctly. So I think this is the first upgrade is a one-time investment of $67. And then you got the upgrade plus the club, which will give you even 5,200 uh, 5, templates, including 4,000 Usign templates, uh, 200 gift sign mockups, 1,000 mock sign mockups. Uh, and 100 extra templates a month every month so you're going to get 100 new templates every single month then we have the ocho 2 which is agency license um, which gives you extra licenses for your team members so you can invite them and collaborate with projects uh, five extra licenses will cost you $87, 10 extra licenses will cost you $107, and 20 extra licenses will cost you $167. And then uh, the last upgrade is the Visual University for $197, uh, which is basically a course, a mega marketing mega course. That's what they call it. Um, this will be the success of my customers, they say. So uh, they will show you strategies and steps to make the most out of Z Suite uh, so you can use this to sell your services to other businesses. And that's what this whole university is all about. You don't need this, of course, if you want to buy the front end product. Um, $67, you get access to all the, the applications. And if you want to upgrade for more templates, that's possible with the first upgrade. Uh, personally, in my opinion, this is a super, super good deal for uh, $67 for a lifetime access to a platform like this, which already exists for years. Uh, they're constantly developing it. Um, listen to the users that have suggested all kinds of things. They implemented that into the platform. So uh, yeah, definitely a product that I can recommend. Uh, and again, if you want to grab it, make sure you grab it through my link so you get my bonuses, my video software, other bonuses also. I'm going to give you my free uh, SEO platform, 50 plus tools, a gift free account. Just go to the link in the description below this video if you want to see my bonuses. And if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below uh, or simply go to my website, go to the chat and ask me personally. So that's my review. Thank you for watching my review of Z Suite. Um, yeah, go check it out and uh, hope to see you in my next review video. Have an awesome day and bye-bye. Uh,